Here we have an RTX 3080 that we're going to be working on today. And I'm just going over what the customer wrote. Let's go over it together. I have an RTX 3080 that will not show any video. PC will boot, but the card is not detected as a device. It was damaged during replacement of thermal paste and tape. A screwdriver nicked a trace on the opposite side of the PCB near the performance quiet mode switch. I suspect that was the cause of the issue, but I'm not certain for sure. I cannot tell you how many times we get video cards in that were perfectly fine and they got damaged because the user wanted to make it even better. They wanted to replace the thermal paste or add liquid metal. And I always tell customers, if it's not broken, do not fix it. The card is working. You bought it brand new. Why do you feel the need to open it, replace the thermal paste, put liquid metal just for a five degree difference in temperature? Why? It's not the first time we see a video card like this. I would say 50% of the cards that we get in were working before the customer or the user attempted to open up the card. The switch is right here. And he said on the opposite side, so on front of the board. By the naked eye, you can see nothing. Okay, by the naked eye, it's impossible to see anything. Let me see if I can zoom in. Somewhere right here. Oh, I think he's talking about this nick right here. Will that tiny nick cause the video card not to work? Let's take a look under the microscope and see what's going on because with the naked eye, it's impossible to see what's happening. I do see a lot of data lines here. I do not know what those lines do, but they look like data lines. And <laughs> that's the nick the customer is talking about, most likely. It looks microscopic when you look at it with your eyes, but under the microscope, we see a Hiroshima. And that tiny nick can actually disable the card. We do not know what that line is. This here, I do not know what that line is, the one on top. And likely it's this line because the top line looks continuous, we can tell. So we mainly have to look at this line here. And it looks like we see a hole here. It's not about just breaking of the line. Maybe something happened here. We do not know if there were any lines that were affected within layers of the board. Because as you know, the board, the PCB board, is multi-layers. I do not know how many layers. Maybe 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 14, I don't know. But if that hole went in deep, it could have possibly damaged a line in between layers of the board. We do not know and we're not going to get there. But all we can do right now is fix the damage that is visible to us. This here. That's the only thing that I can do. You see some superheroes on YouTube that will drill through the board and they will do a mission impossible to fix a card, which I find unbelievable. Not unbelievable that that fix was attempted. Unbelievable that somebody would waste time to do such a thing. Unless you have nothing else to do in life. You have to learn in life what is practical to work on and what is not. I always talk about efficiency. Efficiency. If you spend a whole day working on one device, you're losing. You're not efficient. You're wasting your life. You're wasting your time. And for what? My wife and kids are here. Hey guys. I'm sad. Oh, you're sad? Why? I'm sad that I want Sonic the Ash. You're sad because of what? I'm sad because I want Sonic Dash. You want to play Sonic Dash and that's why you're sad? Mm -hmm. Mama didn't give it to you? No. He want to play Sonic Dash on his mom's phone. You can play just a little bit. Not every day. Killin harb dakht alab, ma fik. Shway bas. Look, you're on camera. You want to fix? <laughs> Kids, they came two seconds to the shop and the shop is in Hiroshima. Two seconds. What can you do? Let's continue working on the board. The first thing I'm going to do is grind. We're going to use the grinding pen. 
uh, we're gonna grind from right here precisely Let me rotate the board. I'm not comfortable in the way I'm grinding. Let's try again. That's an extremely tiny trace. What's going on? I'm able to grind the sides of the trace, but not the trace itself. Why? I'm pointing exactly at the trace. Am I missing something here? Okay, <laughs> so the line is not this one, but it's this one. So that's not a line. That's not a line. That's not a line. It's this, this. Okay, so I messed up. This is the line and this is the line. So I should be grinding. We need to grind both this and this because look at this. It's cut from here and it's cut from here. All right. The board wanna play games. Let's try again. And we're gonna grind this one also. from here and let's do it all the way to right here and that's enough we're gonna have to mask the exposed areas except for the ones that we grinded what I want to do is measure if we have a continuous path between the two points that I grinded between here and here and you see the line is cut and between here to here the line is cut all right now we want to make sure that the ground layer is not touching those lines so what i will do is measure the areas i grinded with ground and see do we have a short so one probe on ground and the other probe on any one of the points. No short, no short. Look, if I touch here, we got a beep because the other probe is on ground. So no short, no short, no short, and no short. That's good. So we're gonna mask the middle and then we're gonna run the wire to connect both ends. And hopefully we can save this cord. Nothing is guaranteed. And we do not know how deep the sole is or if it affected anything in between the layers or if there's anything else wrong with the board. I have some UV mask here and we're going to mask the center. Now we're gonna use our UV lamp and whatever we are using here today can be purchased off our site. You can buy all your tools, all your needs from one place. Just log in to Northridge Fix. And I mentioned this to all our new viewers on the channel. All the viewers you already know, you've probably already purchased, but we have all the tools in our shop. So UV light, make sure to put your shades on and the UV lamp is currently curing the UV mask. Okay, right here, and it's on. Let's wait until it's done. Okay, 
the lamp shut off by itself. And now all we have to do is apply some hot air. I may have to change that tip, it looks a bit wobbly. That tip takes a lot of abuse from the grinding pan falling and from using the pan and all that stuff. But the good thing is the tips are very cheap. The tip is $2. And if you do plan to buy the grinding pan, just stock up on the tips, they're very cheap. And that tool is amazing. Actually, it's one of the most used tools in the shop here. I did mention that we have a version 2 of the grinding pen. It was customized specifically for us. Northridge Fix branding. And we should have it by early this week, maybe in a couple of days. If you are watching the video before we get the pens. But if you're watching the video one year after this video was posted, then we already have those. And maybe we have version 3 of the pen and version 4, who knows? Because sometimes I mention something and I later realize that what I mentioned only holds true for that specific period of time and not for people watching the video one year after. And get rid of the glare. Now the distance between those two points is very minimal. It looks far apart, but if you compare it with my, maybe with my index finger, look at this. You do not want to see my index finger or any finger. I used to tell my kids to wash their hands before they eat, and they used to tell me why, why. And then I got my daughter inside the shop, and I told her to stick your finger under the microscope. She did, and she found wonders, hair, dirt, elephants, giraffes, everything on her finger. And I told her, you see, that's why I tell you to wash up before you eat. But then again, you want kids to build immunity. You do not want to keep washing their hands. I only tell them to wash before they eat, but throughout the day, they can do whatever they want. And you want them to have germs on their hand, to build up their immunity system, to get sick. Their body will become stronger. And that's why people who live in less fortunate countries or third world countries, they have a strong immunity system because they get exposed to everything. I do not want to be too soft with my kids. I want them to grow up tough. Let's use pad strips and the length of the pad strip is perfect. Very nice. How come it's crooked, that pad strip? Why don't you go to sleep? Just let me do my job. And we're good. We're done. What about this here? I think we'll keep it for decoration. I mean, if you don't like it, why not? Let's just... Wiggle left and right. We go all around. And then we do the hokey pokey. And we turn around. And that's what it's all about. So if that was the problem, then the card is fixed. But of course, it's never that easy. We're going to have to find out. Let's make sure that those two wires are not touching in any way, shape or form. And they're not. And let's test ground with any one of those lines. And I'm getting 
a 626 ohm reading and here I'm not getting any reading oh well okay that's good enough for me and why not finish the job by applying solder mask over those lines and we can call it done it doesn't mean that the board is fixed but done let's put the UV light All right, and we're all done. Now all we have to do is test and see if that card will power on. And we do not want to do the same mistake as yesterday's video where we forgot to plug the power cable. Lesson learned. And we're gonna plug in the HDMI cable and see what happens. Maybe for safety, I'll wear my goggles just in case. Power supply on. CPU fan is spinning. And are we gonna hear six beeps or are we gonna see an image on the screen? And we see an image on the screen. It's fixed. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Another 3080 saved. That's awesome. We did an excellent job. I'm gonna give this to Big Boss to reassemble and test. Maybe test it for 20 minutes, make sure everything's good. We're gonna invoice and mail this back to the customer. That's it, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.